Got something new to show you here. Recently I purchased a Raspberry Pi 3 and I've uh, been enjoying it a lot and I'm going to show you today what it looks like with uh, when you install what's called the Raze 128 gigabyte image. I purchased mine from Kanakit. You see that right there. And what that comes with, uh, there are various kit options, but you can get it with a case and it comes with a uh, power supply and you have the option to get uh, certain memory cards from them. I purchased one individually. You can see here I'm using a 128 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra micro SD. And I just wanted to show you what the difference was in the size of these things. And you can see this is very small, fits in the palm of your hand and with the case that it comes with, it's not that much larger and it protects it. Also with the Canna Kit, you get these uh, little heat sinks that you can just easily stick on there. So let's plug it up and I'll show you how it works. Here I've got it set up uh, with my TV. You see I've got an HDMI cord and the power cord. And when you plug it in, you're met with a retro pie splash. And here you can see I'm utilizing the a dongle that's uh, made by Microsoft for their 360 controllers. Boots up, you're met with the introduction screen for a track mode. And from here you've got a menu, a quick menu where you can just select through different games. I'm using, uh, utilizing the Chrome controller by Microsoft. I like this one because it's got a uh, adjustable d-pad but anyway you go through pick any console you like I met with this really nice screen and then while using the controller you can just either hit left or right and go to the next console I'll go back to NES and I'll just select the game and it boots these games very quickly. And to back out of a game, you just hit back and start on the 360 controller. And um, you can start looking through other games. One other nice feature is the screensaver. And I have mine set to start at about a minute. Um, but depending on which console you're in, it'll just show videos of uh, games playing from that console and it gives you a little title at the bottom left. So it adds another really nice professional touch if you've got this running in your game room. Take advantages of the RetroPie over some of the modded Xboxes that I've worked with before is just the speed of switching in between things. Another nice thing you could do is you can uh, hit this button up here. It just pulls up that quick menu, and with uh, Ray's 128 gigabyte image, you can see this card is, is loaded with a bunch of great games, and they've even got collections, as you can see right here. I'll click on this and show you. Here's a Metal Slug collection, and it's basically got all the arcade games from Neo Geo, but in addition to that, it has all the ones from the Neo Geo Pocket. So let's go back to the main menu. Also got a uh, main collection, and the, this card has a pretty robust uh, collection. You can see down here, it's got almost 3,000 games. Another great thing about the Raspberry Pi or RetroPie is that it's compatible with so many USB controllers. And I personally just think 360 controllers are easy to use, and had some around the house. Um, and so it doesn't cost that much just to pick up one of these little uh, Microsoft dongles. I think they're about $15 on eBay. Uh, but that's it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm really enjoying using this. It's great because it's portable and it uses HDMI, so no longer you have to deal with the component cable that you did with the original Xbox. And it has uh, a really nice menu layout uh, similar to that original Xbox. Um, so I encourage you guys to check it out. I'll put uh, a list of some of the com uh, programs I use on my computer to format the SD card and to write the image onto the SD card. Uh, have fun!